I've always been a member of the Coffee First Safety Third Club, but you know, we may need to take a step back and realize that some of the hydro dipping stuff out there is kind of dangerous. I'm not going to give you guys a safety speech in today's video, but we are going to talk about explosions, goodness gracious, great balls of fire, and why my arm looks like this. Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. If you've been around the channel a while, you know that I upload videos every single week, and this week I have been absent. But before we get into the story about this, let's take a quick second and remind ourselves of all the things we do in hydrographics that are flammable. Activator. Very flammable. Paint and clear coats. Also extremely flammable. Most of our cleaning products and other stuff like that. Flammable. And since we play with so much stuff that's flammable, it's probably a really good idea to have a fire extinguisher handy anytime you're doing anything with hydro dipping. And also since most flammable stuff is probably not good to breathe either, make sure that you are wearing a appropriate respirator so that you can keep your lungs and nose and all that good stuff intact and it doesn't like melt from the inside. Don't try to be a superhero and just, you know, cover your face with a towel or something and hope that you don't get anything. Kind of like we're doing now with the masks that don't work. But whatever. Well, enough about safety. Just be smart. Don't do stupid stuff. And now let's get into why my arm looks like this. So this past weekend, I was burning a whole bunch of cardboard boxes. We get tons of orders here in the shop all the time. And we got paint supplies coming in and activator and film and all kind of other stuff. And I just, you know, had a whole bunch of boxes in here. So I decided I was just going to go out and burn a few of them and make some space in here. And there was no adult beverages involved. I promise. And not Thinking anything of it, I just started throwing boxes on the fire, watching them burn, and things were all gravy until there was a giant explosion. And the explosion wasn't so much a big deal, it was a big deal that it exploded while I was standing right next to the fire. At the time, I didn't really know what it was that caused the explosion. I just knew that there was an explosion. I was missing half of the skin on my arm, and I needed to go to the hospital. So my good buddy Josh just happened to be on his way over to help me do some stuff in the shop, rushed me over to the hospital, went through the excruciatingly painful process of getting all this cleaned and all that kind of great stuff, which is not fun at all, ever. So like, if you ever get the chance to get second and third degree burns on anything, pass. It sucks. A lot. But yeah, I spent the night in the hospital, came back home the next day, and we decided to do a little investigating to figure out what it was that made this goodness gracious great balls of fire. And after digging around through the ashes, we were able to determine that it was one of these. I had just received a really big order of One Hit Wonder aerosol cans that I use for doing touch-ups and small stuff, and I did not check the box to make sure that it was completely empty. So one of these was in that box that I burned and went kaboom, and yeah. It hurt. Hence why we are having this discussion today about not doing stupid stuff, safety, yada, yada, yada. Just make sure you check your boxes before you throw them in a fire because those things are really flammable. It even says it right here on the side of the can. Well, well, it's not really says it. There's actually a picture of a giant fire. So I'm assuming that means that these go bang, which I can personally tell you from experience, these make big bang. Just saying. There are some sickos out there like me that want to see what it looks like underneath this bandage. I will show you some pictures here in just a second. If you are queasy, have a weak stomach, don't like looking at this kind of stuff, close your eyes for 15 seconds starting now. Okay, you can open your eyes back up. I'm back. No more gruesome pictures. That was freaking gnarly. Well, the good news is I'm still alive. I got to live to tell about this horrific story. It was not fun. Don't ever burn yourself like that. It sucks a lot. I am going to be taking a little bit of break from working in YouTube for the next probably week or two until I can get this thing all nice and healed up. But I am going to be fine. It's just going to take a little bit of healing. And they gave me pills. So y'all just be patient with me. We will get back to doing videos in a few weeks. I have got to get this thing really good and healed before I can get it wet or do any dipping or painting or anything because I'm kind of stuck with just one hand right now and it's really awkward. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's roll the bloopers. The dangerous side. We may need to stake a, stake a step back. Take a, stake a step back. Who knew that a pill bottle would make such a good maraca? I know that sounds crazy because hydro dipping is like nothing but water, but yeah, you get you get the picture. Whatever. And now for ah, 
crap, I screwed that up. Definitely be wearing a respirator of some sort, and I should have one around here to show you while I'm actually making this motion. And I don't have a shake weight though. Not a respirator, but I do have a shake weight. Why is there a shake weight over here? Oh my god. Oh god, I hurt and finish this. My arm has a heartbeat. Well, one armed ninja. What I had. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Oh my god, I need a piano back here and like freaking Tom Cruise is la la la. I love that movie. I normally upload videos on Mondays or Tuesdays when I can because I've been running a little late the last few weeks because things have been really busy. I'm sorry. Uh, please forgive me.